It's 635 now, and we are joined by a special guest, the pastor of the Rock Church here in San Diego. Miles McPherson is on the phone with us. And uh, it sounds like, Pastor Miles, you have changed your entire message for church this morning in order to address the current issues. It's a tough morning to wake up to here in San Diego, Miles. Yes, thanks for having me. I will be speaking about the third option, a book I wrote a couple of years ago about racial equality. I've dealt with racism all my life. My heart breaks for all those people protesting. And if I could say something to them, I would tell them I feel their pain. Uh, what's going on in our country is, is horrible. I understand their pain, but I just want to appeal to them that some of the, the things they're doing are hurting the very people that try, we, try, we need to help. And so I would just appeal to them, I'm praying for you, I love you, and I would appeal to this whole city and county to pray for all of us. This is not gonna be solved by political, even though we have to change the laws, but it's gonna be changed when God touches our hearts. So I pray that reforms are made in the criminal justice system, absolutely. The things that happened to George Floyd are wrong. Breonna Taylor, uh, Ahmaud Arbery, uh, but we also need to change the heart. What, what will be your words of comfort? And is there a message that you can offer some hope to people who are waking up to these images uh, that have upset so many people? Obviously, here in San Diego, this was the, kind of the first night that we saw it erupt in this way, but we've seen it for days now, of course, across the country. So where is the message of hope? And, and what, what will you say to your parishioners this morning? Well, the first thing I'm going to say is that I, I want to say the right thing, that it's going to be very hard. Uh, my heart is heavy. I was crying last three or four days, and I hurt for our city. I hurt for our country, and I hurt for these kids that are out there looting. Uh, I, I don't agree with the looting, but I understand the protest absolutely, and so I'm going to tell the church we got to humble ourselves before God, and we got to ask God to check our own heart about the 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 biases, the, the, the bigotry, the pride, the arrogance that we have as individuals in any way. Uh, we have to start with ourselves and look in the mirror, and I think that's where we got to start. I do have one quick question. You know, you have, you have a lot of young people, children, that go to your church. How do you explain what's going on, and what is the best way to explain it to some of the, the younger folks? I know Mary and I both have young kids, and, and it, sometimes it's hard to put into words. Well, you know, the Bible says the truth shall set you free, and it depends on what kind of age you're saying young is, but I think people need to understand as much as they can truth. Um, you know, I have pictures of my grandparents that it was illegal for them to get married because one was black and one was white. That's just a fact. And, you know, Martin Luther King was killed when I was eight. I lived in a segregated world when I was growing up. And I think people need, just need to understand what the realities are and not be told something that just makes them feel good or puts the blame on one group or another this is a sin pride issue that is just rampant through the world and the only way we're going to deal with it is to humble ourselves and be honest with ourselves and then love people i mean if we all just love people and and put others before ourselves you know these problems we wouldn't have these problems it's a difficult conversation that you will be starting this morning with your congregation with the Rock Church there in San Diego. Pastor Miles McPherson, we really appreciate your time with us this morning. Um, and it's it's just difficult to see it land here on our doorstep. But I know you have lived it. You've spoken about it. You've written about it. We appreciate your insights this morning. Would you, would you mind if I pray for our city? Uh, we have just a moment, please. Lord, Lord, please bless our city. Please bring peace and calm and unity and i pray that we would acknowledge that you are god and that we need to bow knee to you and not money and power and arrogance in jesus name amen thank you pastor miles we appreciate you god, god bless you